We're here outside Victoria Bath to see what's going on today and in the future. My name's John Lucas, I'm the Secretary of the Friends of Victoria Baths. So John, tell me about uh, the history of the baths. Well the building was opened in 1906 um, and at that time it had three separate swimming pools. It had slipper baths because most people didn't have bathrooms which were individual cubicles with, with baths inside where people came once a week to have their bath. And it had a laundry because again people brought their washing here because they didn't have washing machines. Um, it was closed in 1993 and at that point it was left to fall into disrepair and since then the Victoria Baths Trust and Friends of Victoria Baths have been campaigning to rescue it. Um, we won the first series of the BBC's restoration programme and the money from that enabled the external restoration of the front block to take place, which was completed about two years ago. Um, the Gardapool roof and one of the large stained glass windows have just been restored and scaffolding came down a few weeks ago. Um, what is happening today? Today is one of our regular open days, so the first Sunday of every month the building is open to the public from 12 till 4 and today we have got Old Soul Community Choir performing. And we are unveiling a stained glass window in tribute to Sonny Lowry. Sunny Lowry was one of the first women to swim the channel. She trained here in Victoria Baths and was one of our staunch supporters until she died um, a couple of years ago. And exhibitions take place here on a regular basis. People hire the building to do various things. I know that there is a, I think it's a corporate team building event uh, in about three weeks time. Um, it's been used for filming, it's been used for photo shoots, for um, fashion magazines, and it is available for anybody who wants to uh, hire it uh, for weddings. We have got our next um, event on the 25th of September, which is GI Jive. So we are, in a sense, doing something which has been happening in this building for over 100 years. Cottonopolis Collective. We've put on the Chew the Flow exhibition at Victoria Baths and we've also been asked to do some workshops for children. But I'm, I'm an animator and um, my um, colleague Matthew, he is a filmmaker and also a painter. So we've been trying to work out an interesting way to join the idea of the baths, the history of the baths, with quite contemporary interesting techniques for children. So we've been using paper cutouts of all sorts of different swimming Swimming sort of vintage images from books, swimming positions, um, different backgrounds, some of them taken from Victoria Baths, and then some more um, kind of different creatures, sea creatures. So the children have been cutting out the, animate, the animating parts and they're going to come up with their own little idea uh, based upon their own imaginations, really.
Well, there are a whole host of things that makes today uh, very important. So, Sonny Lowry actually is one of the, the, the great Mancunians, um, a woman who uh, nearly made it to 100th uh, birthday, um, sadly left us a couple of years back now, um, was awarded very late in life the, the MBE. Uh, I think I can say without fear of uh, insulting anybody that that was far too late. She should have been given it many, many years earlier because she's widely recognised for being the first woman to have swum the English Channel. And in those days of when women really weren't encouraged in, in sport or in many other avenues of life, for somebody to have that resolution and that determination is, is, was frankly astonishing and extraordinary. That would be the first thing about Sunny. Of course, Victoria Bath itself is an amazing building. This is the home of many, many memories. It's also one, uh, one of the most beautiful uh, swimming pools, uh, sw swimming complexes that you could come across uh, up and down the length and breadth of the country. Um, on its way to restoration because of the enormous work done by the Friends of Victoria Bath. So the, those two celebrations together, Sunny, all that she stood for, the fact that she did her training uh, in her early swimming in this this, this bath, uh, the fact that the baths themselves are in the process of restoration is, is one of the great icons of modern Manchester. Well, perhaps an icon not just of modern Manchester, but of where modern Manchester came from, our Victorian inheritance. And so today, Sunny Lowry, Victoria Baths, what a great day, and I'm very proud to have actually been asked to be part of the, these celebrations. Um, it's an honour for me, a great day for Manchester.